I'm thrilled to share with you five effective methods for discovering your life purpose. Are you someone who grapples with feeling adrift or uncertain about your life's direction? Do you often find yourself questioning whether you're on the right path or fully realizing your potential? If so, you're not alone. In today's message, we'll explore the concept of purpose and how you can uncover yours. I understand firsthand the frustration of feeling like you're simply going through the motions without a clear purpose or direction. However, I also know it doesn't have to be that way. By absorbing this message and applying the five strategies I'm about to outline, you can change course and begin living a life brimming with passion, fulfillment, and purpose. So, if you're eager to unearth your true purpose and embark on your journey to living your best life, let's dive in. We'll begin with number five, discovering your life's purpose by tuning into your inner voice. What exactly do I mean by your inner voice? It's that small voice within you that offers guidance and direction. Some may refer to it as intuition, while others might call it their gut feeling. Regardless of the terminology, it's a potent tool that we often overlook in our pursuit of purpose. We inhabit a world inundated with external noise, constantly bombarded by information, opinions, and expectations. Amidst this cacophony, our inner voice can easily be drowned out. We're told what to do, how to think, and who to be, but amidst this chaos, we forget to listen to ourselves. We neglect our inner voice, which serves as our true compass in life. But why is it essential to heed our inner voice? Because it represents our authentic self. It knows our deepest desires, true passions, and unique purpose. It remains uninfluenced by societal pressures, emanating instead from our innermost essence. When we attune ourselves to this voice, we align with our true purpose in life. I understand that some of you might wonder, but Jim, how do I even listen to my inner voice? I don't even know what it sounds like. Well, my friends, the initial step is to create space for it. Often, our daily lives keep us so occupied that we forget to be still and attentive. We're constantly on the move, checking our phones, scrolling through social media, and filling our minds with external distractions. However, if we genuinely seek to discover our purpose, we must carve out space for our inner voice to be heard. This can be achieved through practices like meditation, journaling, or simply immersing ourselves in nature. Find a tranquil spot where you can be alone with your thoughts, allowing your mind to quiet down. It is in this serenity that your inner voice begins to articulate itself. I must caution you, though, your inner voice may not always manifest loudly and distinctly. It might present itself as a sensation, an intuition, or a subtle prompting. Yet, the more room you create for it, the clearer it becomes. And the more attentively you listen, the stronger it resonates. However, merely listening to your inner voice isn't sufficient. You must also muster the courage to heed its guidance. Your inner voice may steer you toward a path divergent from societal expectations. It might compel you to take risks, affect changes, and step beyond your comfort zone. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of discomfort that we experience growth. By following our inner voice, we unearth our purpose. I speak from personal experience. Initially, when I embarked on my journey of personal development, my inner voice urged me to share my knowledge and experiences with others. At the time, as a shy and introverted individual, the idea of public speaking petrified me. Nevertheless, I heeded my inner voice as counsel, and here I stand today, addressing all of you and impacting lives globally. This brings us to number four. Discovering your purpose by seeking guidance from others. Each of us is endowed with unique talents, gifts, and passions. However, sometimes, it necessitates others' perspectives to discern our potential. While we may harbor an inkling of our purpose, it is through others' guidance that we refine and harness it into a potent force propelling us towards success. I anticipate some of you may harbor reservations. Isn't seeking guidance from others a sign of weakness? Shouldn't we ascertain our purpose independently? My response to that is no. We aren't meant to traverse life's journey alone. We require one another's wisdom, experience, and counsel to realize our fullest potential. Consider this, 
The most accomplished individuals in the world didn't ascend to their height single-handedly. They availed themselves of mentors, coaches, and advisors who steered them along the way. They sought guidance from those who had already traversed the path they aspired to tread. That, my friends, is the crux of discovering your purpose in life. How do we go about seeking guidance from others? Well, the first step is to surround yourself with the right people. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with, so choose wisely. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire and challenge you, those who have achieved what you aspire to achieve. Next, it's crucial to be open to learning from others. Too often, our egos hinder us, convincing us that we already know everything. However, the truth is, there's always something to learn from others. Being humble and open-minded allows us to be amazed at the wisdom and knowledge others can offer. Another significant aspect of seeking guidance from others is to ask for help. This may be challenging for some, as they perceive it as a sign of weakness. But let me assure you, asking for help is a sign of strength. It demonstrates your willingness to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals and fulfill your purpose. When seeking assistance, be specific about your needs. This not only aids the person providing advice but also helps you gain clarity regarding your own purpose and goals. Now, let's address something that may be holding some of you back from seeking guidance from others, the fear of rejection or criticism. Let me tell you, rejection and criticism are part and parcel of life. While they may not be pleasant, they are necessary for growth. Embrace them and utilize them as fuel to become better, to evolve into the best version of yourself. Finally, I want to emphasize the importance of being grateful for the guidance and support you receive from others. Take the time to express gratitude to those who have assisted you along your journey. Not only is it the right thing to do, but it also demonstrates that you value their guidance and are willing to continue learning from them. This brings us to number three, finding your purpose in life by exploring different experiences. What do I mean by this? Well, let me explain. We are all unique individuals with different talents, passions, and interests. The only way to truly understand our purpose is by exploring these different facets of ourselves. Consider this. How can you know what you're truly passionate about if you haven't tried different things? How can you identify your strengths if you haven't challenged yourself in various areas? How can you determine what brings you joy and fulfillment if you haven't experienced different things? The truth is, we often limit ourselves by staying in our comfort zones and repeating the same routines. However, the magic happens when we step out of our comfort zones and try new experiences. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities and helps us discover our purpose. So, my friends, I urge you to start exploring different experiences. It can be something as simple as trying a new hobby or something more significant like traveling to a new country. The key is to expose yourself to new things and be open to learning and growing. Now, I understand that some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have the time or resources to explore different experiences. To that, I say, nonsense. You don't need a lot of time or money to try new things. It can be as simple as taking a different route to work or trying a new dish at a restaurant. The point is to break out of your routine and expose yourself to new experiences. Let me tell you, my friends, the more experiences you have, the more you will learn about yourself. You will discover your strengths, your weaknesses, your likes, and your dislikes. All of this will lead you closer to your purpose. But it's not just about trying new things, it's also about embracing failure. You see, when we try new experiences, we are bound to fail at some point. But that's okay. Failure is not the end. It's just a stepping stone towards success. It teaches us valuable lessons and helps us grow as individuals. So don't be afraid to fail. Embrace it and use it as a learning opportunity. And finally, my friends, I want to leave you with this. Exploring different experiences is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process. As we grow and evolve as individuals, our purpose may also change, and that's okay. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and never stop exploring new experiences. Which leads us to number two. 
Find your purpose in life by identifying your values and beliefs. Now, I know some of you may be wondering why this step is so important. Well, let me tell you, your values and beliefs are like the compass that guides you towards your true purpose. They are your guiding principles, your moral code, and your inner compass. Without them, you may find yourself lost and wandering aimlessly, unsure of where you are headed. Think of your values and beliefs as the roots of a tree. They provide stability and nourishment, allowing the tree to grow tall and strong. Similarly, when you are clear on your values and beliefs, you can build a solid foundation for your life, one that can withstand any storm that comes your way. So, the question is, how do we identify our values and beliefs? The first step is to reflect on your life and think about what truly matters to you. What are the things that you hold dear? What principles do you live by? These could be anything from honesty, integrity, kindness, compassion, or hard work. Take a moment to write down these values and beliefs. This exercise will give you a clear picture of what is important to you. The next step is to examine your actions and decisions. Are they aligned with your values and beliefs? Do they reflect who you truly are? If not, it may be time to reevaluate and make some changes. Remember, your values and beliefs should be the guiding force in your life. And if your actions do not align with them, you may feel a sense of inner conflict and dissatisfaction. Another way to identify your values and beliefs is to look at the people you admire and respect. What qualities do they possess that you admire? It could be their determination, their kindness, or their resilience. These are the values and beliefs that resonate with you, and it is a reflection of who you are at your core. It is also essential to understand that our values and beliefs may change over time. As we grow and evolve, our priorities may shift, and that is perfectly okay. What was important to us in our 20s may not hold the same significance in our 40s. So it is crucial to regularly reflect on our values and beliefs and make adjustments accordingly. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, how do my values and beliefs relate to my purpose in life? Well, let me tell you, your purpose in life should be a reflection of your values and beliefs. It should be something that aligns with who you are and what you stand for. When you are clear on your values and beliefs, your purpose becomes crystal clear. For example, if one of your core values is compassion, then your purpose may revolve around helping others and making a positive impact in the world. If hard work is something you hold dear, then your purpose may be to achieve success and reach your full potential. Do you see how your values and beliefs can guide you towards your purpose in life? Now, I want to address something that may be holding some of you back from identifying your values and beliefs. Fear. You may be afraid that your values and beliefs are not good enough or that others may judge you for them. But let me tell you, your values and beliefs are unique to you, and that is something to be celebrated. Embrace them and let them guide you towards your purpose. Do not let fear hold you back from living a life true to yourself. Which leads us to number one. Find your purpose in life by reflecting on your passions and interests. You see, each and every one of us has a unique purpose in this world. We are not here by accident. We are here for a reason. But the question is, how do we discover this purpose? How do we find our true calling in life? The answer lies within ourselves, in our passions and interests. Our passions and interests are not just mere hobbies or activities that we enjoy. They are a reflection of our inner desires, our true selves. They are the things that bring us joy, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose. And when we take the time to reflect on them, we can uncover our true purpose in life. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have any passions or interests. I don't know what I'm passionate about. And to that, I say, take a moment and think back to your childhood. What were the things that made you happy? What were the activities that you couldn't wait to do? It could be anything from playing sports to painting to solving puzzles. These childhood passions and interests are often the key to unlocking our purpose in life. But for those of you who do have a clear idea of your passions and interests, I urge you to take the time to reflect on them. Ask yourself, why do I enjoy this? What does it bring to my life? How can I incorporate it into my daily routine? 
By reflecting on these questions, you can gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your purpose in life. Now, I must warn you, finding your purpose in life is not a one-time event, it is an ongoing process. Our passions and interests may change as we grow and evolve, and that's okay. The important thing is to always be open to exploring new things and to never stop reflecting on what truly makes us happy. But I must also address the elephant in the room. Many of us may have passions and interests that are not considered practical or realistic by society's standards, and this can often lead us to ignore or downplay these passions in pursuit of a more socially acceptable path. But I am here to tell you, do not let society's standards dictate your purpose in life. If you have a burning passion for something, pursue it with all your heart. Trust me, the world needs more people who are truly passionate about what they do. I also want to emphasize that our purpose in life is not always tied to our careers. While some of us may find our purpose through our work, others may find it through volunteer work, hobbies, or even relationships. The key is to find what brings us joy and fulfillment and to make it a part of our lives in whatever way we can. Now, I want to address the fear that often comes with pursuing our passions and interests. We may fear failure, judgment, or even success. But I want to remind you that the only true failure in life is not trying at all. And as for judgment, remember that the opinions of others do not define us. And as for success, embrace it and use it as a platform to inspire others to find their own purpose in life. I urge you to take the time to reflect on your passions and interests. They hold the key to your purpose in life. Embrace them, pursue them, and never stop exploring and reflecting. As I always say, the greatest gift you can give yourself is the gift of self-discovery. So go out there and find your purpose, and in doing so, you will not only transform your own life, but you will also inspire others to do the same. Thank you. I am thrilled to be here with you today. Are you someone who often struggles with staying focused on your goals? Do you find yourself frequently getting sidetracked by obstacles and challenges? If so, you're not alone. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to become overwhelmed by chaos and lose sight of our objectives. But fear not, because in today's message, I'm going to share with you five powerful methods to shift your focus from obstacles to your goals. These strategies are ones I've personally used and have assisted countless individuals in achieving success in their lives. So, if you're ready to turn things around and begin living a life of purpose and fulfillment, I encourage you to stay tuned and take notes. By the end of this, you will have the tools and mindset to conquer any obstacle that comes your way. Let's dive in and learn how to focus on our goals rather than our obstacles. Starting with number five, Focus on goals, not obstacles, by learning from setbacks. This is a crucial lesson that I've learned throughout my journey towards success. It's not about the obstacles we face, but how we respond to them that truly matters. It's about shifting our focus from the problem to the solution, from the obstacle to the goal. And the key to doing so is by learning from our setbacks. When we face a setback, it's easy to become discouraged and lose sight of our goals. We start questioning ourselves, our abilities, and our decisions. But what we fail to realize is that setbacks are not failures, they're opportunities for growth and learning. They're the stepping stones toward our ultimate success. Think about it, every successful person has faced setbacks in their journey, from Steve Jobs to Oprah Winfrey, from Walt Disney to J.K. Rowling. They've all faced failures and setbacks, but what sets them apart is their ability to learn from these setbacks and use them as fuel to propel themselves toward their goals. So, how do we learn from our setbacks? The first step is to accept them. Accept that setbacks are a part of the journey towards success. Don't let them define you or discourage you. Instead, use them as a learning opportunity. Analyze what went wrong, what could have been done differently, and what lessons can be learned from the experience. The second step is to shift our focus from the problem to the solution. Instead of dwelling on the setback, focus on finding a solution. Remember, every problem has a solution, and it's up to us to find it. This shift in focus will not only help us find a way out of the setback, but also keep us motivated towards our goals. 
The third step is to surround ourselves with positivity. When we face a setback, it's easy to get caught up in negative thoughts and emotions. But it's during these times that we need to surround ourselves with positivity. This could be in the form of supportive friends and family, motivational books and videos, or even positive affirmations. The key is to stay positive and keep moving forward. The fourth step is to never give up. As cliche as it may sound, setbacks are temporary, but giving up is permanent. We must remember that success is not a destination. It's a journey, and setbacks are a part of that journey. So, no matter how many times you fall, get back up and keep moving towards your goals. And finally, the fifth step is to use setbacks as a learning experience. As I mentioned earlier, setbacks are not failures. They're opportunities for growth and learning. Use them to identify your weaknesses, learn from your mistakes, and come back stronger and wiser. As the saying goes, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. It's the storms and rough seas that make us stronger and better equipped to face any challenges that come our way. Which leads us to number four. Focus on goals, not obstacles, by surrounding yourself with supportive people. This is a crucial step in achieving success, and I cannot stress it enough. The people you surround yourself with have a huge impact on your mindset, your motivation, and ultimately your success. Have you ever been in a situation where you were feeling down and discouraged, but then you spoke to a friend or a loved one who lifted your spirits and reminded you of your goals? Or have you ever been in a group of people who were constantly complaining and bringing each other down, and you found yourself feeling unmotivated and negative? This is the power of the people we surround ourselves with. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This statement holds so much truth. The people we surround ourselves with have a direct influence on our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. If you surround yourself with negative and unsupportive people, it's only natural that you will start to adopt their mindset and behaviors. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with positive and supportive people, you will be uplifted and motivated to achieve your goals. So, how do we surround ourselves with supportive people? First and foremost, we need to be aware of the people we are currently spending the most time with. Are they positive and supportive? Do they encourage and motivate you? If the answer is no, then it may be time to reevaluate those relationships. This doesn't mean you have to cut people out of your life, but it does mean that you may need to limit your time with them and seek out more positive and supportive relationships. Secondly, we need to actively seek out supportive people. This can be through networking events, joining clubs or groups that align with our goals and interests, or even reaching out to mentors or coaches. These people can provide us with valuable guidance, motivation, and support on our journey towards our goals. But it's not just about surrounding ourselves with supportive people. It's also about being a supportive person ourselves. We must be willing to support and uplift others on their journey towards their goals. Not only does this create a positive and supportive environment, but it also allows us to learn from others and gain different perspectives. Surrounding ourselves with supportive people also means being open to constructive criticism. We all have blind spots and areas where we can improve, and having supportive people who can provide us with honest feedback is crucial for our growth and success. We must be willing to listen to their advice and make necessary changes to better ourselves. Lastly, we must remember that we are ultimately responsible for our own success. While surrounding ourselves with supportive people is important, it's ultimately up to us to take action towards our goals. We must have the determination and drive to overcome obstacles and stay focused on our goals, even when those around us may not understand or support our journey. Which leads us to number three. Focus on goals, not obstacles, by staying positive. This is a crucial step in your journey towards success. Have you ever noticed that when you are feeling positive, you are more motivated, energetic, and productive? That's because positivity has the power to fuel our minds and bodies, and it's essential to maintain a positive mindset when faced with obstacles. So, how can we stay positive in the face of challenges? The first step is to understand that obstacles are a part of life. We cannot control what happens to us, but we can control how we react to it. 
Instead of viewing obstacles as roadblocks, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Remember, every obstacle is a chance to prove to yourself how strong and capable you truly are. The next step is to surround yourself with positivity. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So, choose your company wisely. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, motivate you, and believe in you. Their positive energy will reflect onto you, and you will find it easier to stay positive even in the face of adversity. Another way to stay positive is to practice gratitude. Take a moment every day to reflect on the things you are grateful for in your life. It could be something as simple as having a roof over your head or a supportive family. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, and it is a powerful tool in maintaining a positive mindset. Moreover, it is crucial to have a clear vision of your goals and to remind yourself of them daily. When you have a clear picture of what you want to achieve, it becomes easier to stay positive and motivated. Write down your goals, create a vision board, or visualize yourself achieving them. This will give you a sense of direction and purpose, and it will be easier to focus on your goals rather than the obstacles. In addition to these steps, it is essential to take care of your physical and mental well-being. Exercise regularly, eat healthy, and get enough rest. A healthy body and mind are vital in staying positive and focused. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup, so take care of yourself first. Furthermore, when faced with obstacles, it is crucial to have positive self-talk. Our thoughts have a powerful impact on our actions and emotions, so instead of dwelling on the negative, replace them with positive affirmations. Tell yourself, I can do this. I am strong and capable. I have overcome challenges before, and I can do it again. These positive affirmations will help you stay focused on your goals and not on the obstacles. Lastly, I want to remind you that staying positive is a choice. It's not always easy but it is a choice that we must make every day. We have the power to control our thoughts, and it is up to us to choose positivity over negativity. Remember, the more you practice positivity, the easier it becomes, and soon it will become a habit. Which leads us to number two. Focus on goals, not obstacles, by breaking down your goals into smaller tasks. We all have dreams and aspirations, but it takes more than just wishful thinking to turn them into reality. It takes focus, determination, and a clear plan of action. One of the biggest mistakes people make when setting goals is not breaking them down into smaller achievable tasks. We often get overwhelmed by the enormity of our goals and end up feeling discouraged and defeated. But what if I told you that by breaking down your goals into smaller tasks, you can not only stay focused but also make significant progress towards achieving them. Think of it this way, imagine you want to climb Mount Everest. It's a daunting task, to say the least. But if you break it down into smaller tasks, such as training, acquiring the necessary gear, and mapping out your route, suddenly the goal seems more manageable. The same principle applies to any goal you set for yourself. By breaking it down into smaller tasks, you can create a clear roadmap towards success. Now, I understand that breaking down goals into smaller tasks may seem tedious and time-consuming, but let me tell you, the time and effort you invest in this process will pay off tenfold. Not only will it keep you focused, but it will also help you to identify any potential obstacles and come up with solutions to overcome them. Furthermore, breaking down your goals into smaller tasks allows you to celebrate your progress along the way. As you tick off each task, you will feel a sense of accomplishment and motivation to keep going. This positive reinforcement will help you stay focused and motivated to push through any obstacles that may come your way. Let me share with you a personal example. When I first started my career as a motivational speaker, my ultimate goal was to become one of the most sought-after speakers in the world. It was a big, audacious goal, and I knew I couldn't achieve it overnight. So I broke it down into smaller tasks. I started by attending local speaking events and honing my craft. Then I moved on to speaking at conferences and seminars. Each step brought me closer to my ultimate goal, and before I knew it, I was speaking on stages around the world. But let me be clear, 
Breaking down your goals into smaller tasks does not mean you should lower your standards or settle for mediocrity. On the contrary, it allows you to set realistic and achievable milestones that will ultimately lead you to your bigger goal. It also gives you the opportunity to reassess and adjust your plan if necessary. Remember, the path to success is not always a straight line, and it's okay to make adjustments along the way. So how do you break down your goals into smaller tasks? The first step is to start with the end in mind. What is your ultimate goal? What do you want to achieve? Once you have a clear vision, break it down into smaller achievable tasks. Make sure these tasks are specific, measurable, and have a deadline. This will help you stay on track and hold yourself accountable. Next, prioritize your tasks. Identify which tasks are urgent and which ones can be done at a later time. This will help you manage your time effectively and ensure that you are focusing on the most important tasks first. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask for help. Surround yourself with people who support and believe in your goals. Seek guidance and advice from those who have achieved similar goals. Remember, success is not a solo journey, and having a support system can make all the difference. Which leads us to number one. Focus on goals, not obstacles, by developing a clear vision. You may be wondering, what does that even mean? How can having a clear vision help me achieve my goals? Let me tell you, having a clear vision is like having a roadmap to your destination. It gives you direction, purpose, and motivation to keep moving forward, even when faced with challenges. Many of us have big dreams and aspirations, but we often get stuck in the day-to-day -day routine and forget about the bigger picture. We get caught up in the obstacles that come our way, and we lose sight of our goals. But I am here to remind you that obstacles are a part of the journey, and they should not deter you from achieving your dreams. So how do we develop a clear vision? The first step is to know what you want. It may sound simple, but trust me, many people don't have a clear idea of what they want in life. They have vague goals like, I want to be successful, or, I want to be happy. But what does success or happiness mean to you? You need to define your goals and be specific about what you want to achieve. The next step is to write it down. This may seem like a trivial task, but writing down your goals has a powerful effect on your mind. It makes them tangible, and it also serves as a constant reminder of what you are working towards. Write down your goals in detail, and be as specific as possible. This will help you create a clear vision in your mind. Once you have a clear idea of what you want and have written it down, the next step is to create a plan. A vision without a plan is just a dream. You need to break down your goals into smaller achievable steps. This will not only help you stay focused, but it will also give you a sense of accomplishment as you tick off each step towards your ultimate goal. Now let's talk about obstacles. As I mentioned earlier, obstacles are a part of the journey, and they should not stop you from reaching your goals. In fact, obstacles can be a blessing in disguise. They can teach you valuable lessons, make you stronger, and help you grow. But how do we stay focused on our goals when faced with obstacles? The answer is simple, by keeping our vision in mind. When you have a clear vision, you are not easily swayed by temporary setbacks. You know where you are headed, and you are determined to get there no matter what. So when an obstacle comes your way, instead of dwelling on it, ask yourself, how can I overcome this and still stay on track towards my goal? This shift in mindset will help you find solutions and keep moving forward. Another essential aspect of developing a clear vision is to surround yourself with the right people. Jim Rohn famously said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you want to achieve big things, you need to surround yourself with people who have a clear vision and are working towards their goals. These people will inspire and motivate you, and they will also hold you accountable for your actions. Lastly, I want to remind you that having a clear vision is not a one-time thing. It is an ongoing process. As you grow and evolve, your goals may change, and that's okay. You need to constantly review and adjust your vision accordingly. The important thing is to always have a clear direction in mind. Know what you want, write it down, create a plan, and surround yourself with the right people. And most importantly, 
Always keep your vision in mind, even when faced with challenges. Remember, obstacles are just temporary, but your vision will lead you to your ultimate destination. Thank you.